one man the focus of attention. Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players, he can go past people with ease, and he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. It's Crystal Palace. They face Manchester United, and it's live on EA TV. Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue, Selhurst Park in South London. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and my partner ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Crystal Palace versus Manchester United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's the Palace 11. Well, the wide midfield players and the fullbacks need to have a good understanding here. If the midfield players tuck in, then the fullbacks need to get forward into the space they vacate, just to give them some attacking width. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Harry Maguire plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And strong play here. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. It's a weighted pass. In it goes! An early goal, no wonder they're celebrating. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So Palace get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? On to Juan Bissaka. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Given away by Manchester United. Rashford. It's with McTominay. You can almost see their opponents racking their brains. How do we stop this? Corner kick to United and an opportunity perhaps for them to make it look even better. And short it is. Textbook defending inside the box. Anderson. Munoz good tackle on to Juan Bissaka he continues his run but the danger averted for now. So nearly at half time and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around.
Mitchell. Maguire. Here's Juan Bissaka. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Jean Philippe Mateta. And so the first half has come to an end here at Selhurst Park. Well, one thing we'd have to say about Marcus Rashford in that first half very difficult to subdue. Stuart, what did you think of what you saw from him? And the second half is underway with Palace behind. Can they turn this game around? It's going to be interesting to see. Went in strongly, decisively. On to Juan Bissaka. Bruno Fernandes has it. Determined defending. Munoz. This is Klein. Anderson. Succeeded in keeping it in play. But it's gone out of play under real duress. And United will switch things around personnel wise. Number 44, Jairo Rinivar. Substitution for Manchester United. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Marcus Rashford. Here's Juan Bissaka. by number 7, Mason Mount. This is a message for Adriano. Harry Maguire now. Happy birthday, Adriano, and have a fantastic day. From On to Juan Bissaka. And Matthew. Mount. Just wasn't going to give that ball away. So a half an hour remaining. Just trying to keep their opponents on their toes with the passing game. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Rafael Varan. It's with McTominay. Diogo Dallo. Bruno Fernandes has it. On to Juan Bissaka. More than decent this from United. Who had no intention of losing out. Fine build up as they look to add to their advantage. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. It's a short corner. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. Short corner taken. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Richards. Klein. Munoz. And Riedewald has it. Mitchell how can he take them on and beat them now well, the ball goes out of play for what will be a goal kick
under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. Well, on the cusp of full time, the home side keep plugging away but find themselves on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, it's been tight, but they've lacked a cutting edge. They've done well at the back and in midfield, but the final pass, the shot of cross, have lacked that bit of quality. Can they find that missing link in these final few minutes? Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. So back underway following the equaliser. Diogo Dallo. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Tyrick Mitchell. And Riedewald has it. Well, you can see how fiercely they're concentrating on finding a winner. Well, the referee blows the whistle. Nothing to divide them after 90 minutes.